I'm Asani Davidson. Um, I am originally from Jamaica, Clarendon, center of the island. Uh, I moved to the United States um, probably when I was about seven or eight. And when I moved to South Florida, uh, I went to a regular high school up in Broward, uh, Stranahan. And then I was at Miramar High School. And when I got accepted to Dash, I was uh, at Miramar. So uh, I was still in South Broward. Uh, fortunately for me, my dad also lived in Miami. So my mom lived in Broward, my dad lived in Miami, and I used my dad's address to, uh, to be able to go to Dash. Um, it was uh, a big sacrifice. Uh, fortunately, I had a lot of support because my best friend had already started school there the year before. And I was able to um, get up early every morning, which I think is like the universal thing that we all have to deal with, right? Get up early every morning and do a very long, long drive down to um, Dash um, in downtown Miami. And then in the afternoons, take a bus to my mom's office because um, she worked off the like 125th or thereabouts. And uh, then from there, drive home in the evenings with her after work. So it was a lot of sacrifice, um, but you know, apart from the distance and the hours uh, spent traveling, uh, it was definitely worth it. Dash is great. There's so much support there, um, but also if you're competitive and you want to do the best and you want to get better at the thing that you love, um, that's what Dash really allows for you to do. Uh, I fell in love with fashion um, probably, you know, around my freshman year of high school. At that point, I'd already been taking some art classes from elementary school to middle school. Um, and I also moved around a lot. So that was my consistency was just being in art classes. But I realized that the thing about fashion that I really love is just being able to create something physical, you know, like all mm -hmm. artists do, but have someone experience mm -hmm. that physical manifestation of what I've created. So clothing, right? And that was really amazing for me to find a school that allowed me to do that um, at such a young age, because a lot of that is either like you're a hobbyist or you're, you know, going to have to wait till you get to college. Um, and when I got to, to college, when I got accepted to FIT, um, I was already sort of ahead. Um, the, the schedule that we keep at Dash, um, the, the, the pressure, the intensity, the competition, the feedback, which is um, super important, was already something I was used to. So a lot of stuff that would bother maybe other freshmen in college, like sort of just didn't even phase me. And I was really grateful for that. It also allowed me to um, pursue um, study abroad at Polymoda in Florence, Italy. Um, and that was great because I had some other Dash classmates there with me as well. Um, and then when I decided to do my master's after working in New York for a bit um, in the industry, um, I ended up going to Central St. Martin's in London. So, and a lot of that has to do with like the foundation I had at Dash, just sort of like to keep pushing, keep trying, um, not to pay too much attention to what's going on around you, but sort of like figure out like how can you constantly improve and do better. So that was really great. And also just having a space with like-minded people is really, really, really important. But what's really great is that, you know, the world runs on fashion. Um, no one walks around naked and there's always opportunity. There's always an opportunity to create new fashion. There's always an opportunity to make your own mark. Um, it's a $2.4 trillion industry. So um, <clears throat> from the beginning to the end, there's like just so much opportunity, depending on what your interest is and what you're, you're about. And so Dash gives you like an early foot into that world. And it's really important to have that. Um, I'm grateful for the fact that fashion has taken me to several continents and uh, to work with lots of different people from different backgrounds and um, you know travel and, and take vacations um, and just sort of you know really experience the world uh, coming from a small 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 
uh, town in Jamaica is um, a world of difference. And I'm grateful because I think Dash has played a huge part in that. And I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it and to be a Dash Phantom. In my career, it's been really just a whirlwind of different things. I currently am the department chairperson for the Miami Fashion Institute at Miami Dade College. Um, prior to that, I've been consulting and doing work at fashion schools overseas. So um, that includes uh, Ghana and Nigeria. Uh, and I was um, interested in, you know, just working with different populations across the globe. Um, and then I ended up coming back to um, the States and taking the position at Miami Dade College. Um, I've also been a buyer for Macy's, an assistant buyer. And I've also worked in the fine jewelry industry. Um, my undergrad was in international trade and marketing for the fashion industry as my bachelor's. Um, my, under, my associates was in fashion design. So I was able to do those things and I, it gave me a little bit more of a broad base when it came to just the fluctuations that happen in any industry, but especially in our industry. So that's been really, really great. I've had a chance to meet some really fantastic people. You know, Antonio Banderas was kind of cool when I did on Miami Fashion Week with my students a few years back. Um, but it's been really awesome just to meet different people at different levels of their career. How does your Dash success story start?